Hey there guys, it's Diane from Corvina. Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing really well. It's a beautiful day here in Cincinnati. And today we are going to water marble some paper. Are you ready? That means we're gonna make a one of a kind print on paper by floating paint on the surface of water. Okay, so hope you're excited. I'm really excited. Let's look at our inspiration for the day. Oh, isn't that pretty? So all this week we're doing beiges. <laughs> all this week we're doing blushes, all right? Last week we were working with like nudes and beiges and skin tones, okay? So this week we're working with blushes. So you can see that we've got a little bit of crossover from last week into this week. So this is our inspiration. And I've been working hard to mix our colors. So let's see um, how we're gonna do here. I have a whole bunch. All right, so I'll show you <laughs> one at a time. This really bright berry here gonna be one of them. Here we go. Here we all line them up right there. Okay. So then I don't have a lot in these bottles. I'm not gonna need a lot of paint, but you can see those pretty colors. I don't like to mix giant bottles up because you never know how exact the colors are gonna be. I like to do it and then wait a little while. Okay. So you can see our colors here. Maybe that's a good way for me to show you what we've got. All right, this is our inspiration. We'll see how we do, all right? Okay. I feel like I'm missing one. We're gonna do this one as well. Okay, that'll cover up some of our, our other um, colors that we're missing. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm ready, I'm excited about it. So let me switch your view and we'll take a look at our tray. All right, we have got a little bit of little bit of debris in there from uh, previous days, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. The surface is clean, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tilt my camera down here, my other camera. Okay, so I have no plan. Let's just see how it goes. All right, we're gonna start the same way we always do. And we're gonna go straight down the center of the tray. I almost feel, I almost feel like this should be very graffiti. Maybe it's the nature of that beautiful picture that is our inspiration. Like maybe it should just be very Jackson Pollocky. That's a beautiful wall mural though one of my favorite things to do is when we're my husband and I are downtown Cincinnati I love to marvel at these works of art these beautiful wall murals um, that are all over the city I'm trying to slow down here our paint is still spreading of course it's taking a little bit of time to dissipate this is gonna be a really pretty one Okay, so everything, so it's all over. All, all the paint is all over the place, which is fine. I can see little spots where it needs to dissipate just a bit so it doesn't run on our paper. Ooh, I did not like the way that turned out. Let's drop over top of it. Boy, that color really sent everything else flying, didn't it? Ooh, dewdrops. That color was no good. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so we've got kind of a marbling dilemma here. And isn't this interesting? Because you guys get to see it all, good or bad. So our paint interacted badly um, with its friends. Okay, sometimes they don't play well together and then they separate. And you can see that no matter what I drop, nothing is spreading over top of that area with that bad paint. Oh dear. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix it up because we can't can't just print the paper like I was kind of hoping to because um, it's not gonna work. But we will experiment and see what happens. We have a ton of paint on the surface of this tray, but it is not mixing with one another kind of looks like sprinkles, kind of looks like birthday confetti, doesn't it? 
That'll be interesting to see. All right. Kind of looks like what happens when you mix oil and water. Which is, you know, it makes sense that it looks like that. Okay, so let's get a big piece of paper here. And let's see what happens when we dip this. All right, ready? We're gonna lower it down. Here we go. Oh man, I think it's an off night. I think I may have even gotten some air bubbles in there. We'll see. Let's see what happens when we pick this up out of the water. All right, ugh. <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm gonna lift it up. You're probably gonna see dripping and running. It'll, it'll be fine. All right, let's see what we've got. Ooh, lots of dripping and running. Look at that coral spread and run. I'm not feeling very good about this. Hmm. All right, so this is our paper for today. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is Diane from Coravina. Every once in a while this happens, you know? You just kinda gotta go with it. I am going to get rid of this paint and never touch it again. This one is the troublemaker. Goodbye, troublemaking paint. All right, this is Diane from Coravina. I hope that your day is going better than this just did. And I hope that wherever you are, you have something that brings you joy and you're having a good day, plain and simple. You can go to cora-vina.com to check out all of the gorgeous silk scarves that I have listed. And it's a great time to shop for gifts, right? Handmade, one of a kind. You can show them the video where it was made just for them. All right, guys, see you next time. What'll happen now? I'll dry this. I'll rinse it <laughs> and I will totally photograph it and show it to you. <sighs> I feel like I need to give this mural a second chance because it's so beautiful. And this is sad. <laughs> All right, Dewdrops, I will see you tomorrow. Remember, live color. Hey there, Dewdrops, it's Diane from Corvina. I can't stand it. I gotta do it again. <laughs> All right, I think I know what the problem was. I think my paints got mixed. I used different paints for paper and different paints for silk, and I think that's what happened. All right, so we're gonna do the whole thing again because I'm unsettled <laughs> and I don't like it. All right, I worked really hard on these colors and mixing them. They need to look pretty, show my effort. Okay, so we're gonna try and do this one more time without that nasty color that did us wrong. Okay, here we go. Let's take a peek. Here we are, and you know what? I think I'm even gonna put the, we're gonna put the, paper, the paints in there in a different way, all right? Assuming I still have enough paints, that's the only sad thing about mixing little bottles, is if you need to redo something over, many times you have to remix. All right, we're just gonna go line by line, one at a time. It's such a pretty palette. I couldn't just let it be. So here we are, just drip dropping. Super pretty. Drop some more on this side. Wow, look at it expand. I love watching the paints ebb and flow. Then sometimes you have like a super spreader like that one. Oh no, should I use the term super spreader? Um, this paint is a, just a bit finicky here too. Okay, so that one did spread a lot. Let's see if we can shrink it back in. And if not, we'll drop over the top of it. So what they're fighting, what the paints are doing is they're fighting for surface tension, okay? Fighting for a lot of surface area. It's always like looking for area to expand. There's a lot of science involved in water marbling, which I find very interesting. Um, and I hope you do too. This is definitely a game of water density and then also a game of surface tension. And see, that's why it ebbs and flows so much, is because it's constantly shifting around to where there is less tension. Like everything in life, right? <laughs> right?
<laughs> okay, so I'm excited about this, guys. I think right now it looks like our picture. Here's a little reminder. Picture. Oh. Paper. So let's move my paints. Then we'll try and make a pretty print with these, which I think we will. Maybe we'll just do back and forth here. Gonna go nice and slow. Trying not to shift too many things around. Hear that slow, steady scrape of my tray. All right, I like this. I think it looks like a mural. I think it looks pretty. Let's see if we can get a good print. Now I'm nervous, guys. All right. We're gonna layer our paper down and we're gonna see what sticks. Here we go. All right. Fingers crossed for me. Are they crossed? I hope they are. All right, we're gonna pull this up. Might see dripping and running. I don't think it'll be too bad though. Let's see what we've got. Oh, so much better. Oh my goodness. See, try, try again, right? I really like it. Okay, so <laughs> now I'm gonna properly hang this up. Hold on a second. All right, so what happens now? Now I let it dry and then I will have to iron it because it gets all wavy and I'll post pictures so you can compare it to our original inspiration. And thanks to the magic of Facebook and YouTube, here it is. What do you think? Do you love it? I hope I love it. I hope I love it. Okay, so uh, I hope that you enjoyed our paper marbling times two. Just a reminder, keep trying again till you get it right. Okay, so this is Diane from Coravina. Peace out for a second time. Bye, Dewdrops. Remember, live colorfully.